Welcome in YouTube is Boneyard Garage. Today I'm going to make a homemade spark plug tester. I got this idea off of YouTube from a guy named Zippo. And uh, if you haven't seen any of his view, uh, videos, I suggest you go check them out. A lot of good information. So uh, I'm going to pretty much copy what he did. But I changed it up a little little different. So what you want to do is you want to get a spark plug wire. An old spark plug wire. I cut it. Leave about three or four inches on each end of the wire. And you're going to need a clear piece of hose. It's an old fuel line. Clear piece of fuel line. Some heat shrink. A screw. And a couple ends off old spark plugs. The ones that thread off. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the uh, heat shrink. I'm going to slide a piece on each side of the spark plug wire. And then you want to take your clear hose and slide your spark plug wire into that. And you want to leave about a quarter inch gap. You can see it between the two spark plugs and if if you don't get no spark between that quarter inch gap uh, you got a weak weak spark so after you put that on got the heat shrink on I'm going to slide the heat shrink over the clear tube and the spark plug wire like so. I'm going to take my heat gun and shrink it. Like so. I could have cut that one a little straighter, but you get the idea. Okay, we're going to let that cool off for a minute. And while we're letting that cool off, I'm going to take the two ends off the spark plugs. And I'm going to take the screw. And I'm going to thread the caps on the screw. Bring it all the way down to the head of the screw. I'm going to take the other cap. Uh, wait, I put it on backwards. Thread that onto the screw. Want the bevel top to the head of the screw. Then you take the other one and put it on and put the bevel to the uh, Outside of the screw. Screw that up tight. Take a pair of pliers and the screwdriver. And we will tighten that up. And then with the threads that are sticking out, go ahead and just take your cutters. try to cut that off like so okay so after you get that done you take another piece of heat shrink you're gonna slide this boot up 
This is the side that would go on your coil. And then slide this heat shrink on. And then you're going to slide the end. I don't really think it matters what end you actually put on there. I'm going to slide the end with the screw into the wire. fits a little nicer. Give that a, a squeeze. Then I'm going to take this heat shrink and go over top of that. Like so. See how that shrunk up nice. I will keep that in there. You know. Then slide your boot back up. And there you have it, spot plug tester. Thanks Zippo, I appreciate it. And uh, I'll try to put his link of his videos on the bottom of mine once I figure out how to do that. Okay guys, have a nice night. Catch you next time. Okay, so we're gonna give this spot tester a test. I uh, already plugged in on the old Jacobson garden tractor, 12 horsepower Kohler engine, snow plow, smokestack with my flapper. Okay, I already put it on. See it right there. Fits right on the plug nice, and that boot slid right over top. To the ends of the spot plug caps. That worked out pretty nice. So I'm going to start it up. I'll kill the lights first. Hopefully, you can still see. Okay, so there you have it, how to make a spark tester. Thanks a lot to Zippo. I'm gonna put his link on the description box. Go check some of his videos out. Uh, he got a lot of good ideas, a lot of knowledge. So, till next time YouTubers, have a good day.